with this, we're already in 2024. Can you believe it? So today, a short video to cover the plans for the channel this year and also review some of the analytics from last year. So if you want to see how much of a channel my size actually makes, you'll see it all. First of all, again, Happy New Year to you all. I hope 2024 will bring happiness, good health and success for you and your loved one. And I also want to thank you all for all of the support since I started this channel. All the viewers, likes, comments and of course everyone who has contributed to the channel. In particular, our five current Patreon supporters, Christoph, David, Isle of Comics, Kimi and Gustavo. Thank you very much. And also Caribbean for the recent PayPal contribution. Now let's talk quickly about 2023 before we move to 2024 officially. Don't hesitate also to use the chapter functionality below if you want to skip to 2024. First, in terms of content, right? A lot of video. We didn't get any new Anno DLCs, only cosmetic one, which I don't really care for. But I still had a lot of fun playing Anno this year with a crazy outcome modded series with aircraft carriers, submarines and much more. Then we also started making many stamps, right? I made perfect stamps and layout for all of the production in the old world, in the new world. And yes, I know we didn't do the Arctic and Ambassa in 2023, but don't worry, it's actually coming this month. I promise you, I've already recorded them, so you will be seeing them very soon on the channel. And finally, for Anno 1800, we also played an expert campaign, right? With all of the DLCs, with stamps, we went from start to finish. We're finishing this series now. So do stay tuned for the final episode of that series, where I will share my save for free with you all. Now, talking about Anno, we did play another one, right? We played Anno 2005, and that was tons of fun. This is really an amazingly beautiful game, so please give it a try. Yes, it has its challenges. Yes, I still prefer Anno 1800, but honestly, especially for the price at which you can find it these days, it is an amazing one. We also witnessed some disappointments, like in particular the Settlers New Ally, right? You have the video on my channel, I'm not gonna talk about it more. And a few others, like the demo for Builders of Egypt, really wasn't where I wanted it to be. Pharaoh and New Era was also a bit disappointing. But for me, the great thing this year is that we were able to go beyond Anno. This year, we played many other games and, you know, I had a lot of great feedback from you all. The YouTube algorithm didn't punish me too much for playing other games, so I really liked that. Some of these games were smaller in size, for example, Plan B Terraform, right? Seven episodes in this series, and if you haven't seen it, don't hesitate to check it out. A small game that's being developed right now. We had Father Frontier 2 in the beginning of the year. Then recently we had Station to Station, another smaller one, but a really interesting one, you know? They come with smaller price too, so that's good. And then some bigger ones like Satisfactory, we're playing on update 8, and you know, having tons of fun with those blueprints too. Sharing, of course, as always, all of those blueprints for free on my Discord community. Another of the big one was the release of version 1 for Captain of Industry. I really had tons of fun there, again, with great blueprints. And of course, many game discovery along the way. Now, let's talk some numbers. As you can see, more than half a million views for the overall year. And both for the views and the watch time, fairly stable for the year. Yes, we had a peak in March when we had, uh, you know, the launch of the stamps and things like this. And it's also been uh, trending up for the end of the year. So that's good. I know those remain at the top of the views, as you can see, almost 30,000 views for this one, the perfect stamp in the old world. So if by any chance you haven't seen that one, you definitely should. And also the mods, Manor Lord 2, Captain of Industry, right? So there's others, and hopefully that will continue to become more and more diversified. But what you're probably all waiting to see is the money. 2023 was actually my first year getting ad revenue for the full year. And as you can see, we're talking about a bit more than $1,000. Uh, before tax. That's important. I still need to pay tax on this, obviously. So definitely goes down. And, you know, in terms of another metric, it's basically around two to four dollars per day. So basically, that's what you need to keep in mind, you know, two to three dollars per day. All in all, again, a big thank you to you all. I'm really happy that we were able to enjoy a lot of great content across several games. And I hope that we continue this trend of growing next year. Now, having said that, though, I do hope you agree that at this point, YouTube is a cool passion, bringing some money, but it's definitely not enough to stop my job. I mean, after task, you know, this is not even probably what I've spent on the computer, the recording material, etc. to launch YouTube. 
But I'm definitely not stopping either, right? Let's move on to 2024. Now, first of all, I did want you to open a bit the curtain and show you behind the scene, but I'm trying to get a lot more organized. Now, I'm trying to plan the content for each week in advance so that you have consistency. You know, you know when the episodes are going to come, you all know that every week there's going to be some. My target at this point is to do at least three episodes per week, but hoping we can increase this further. I'm also tracking, obviously, you know, which game I want to cover. Of course, there is a lot of games that I follow on Steam. And, you know, this list doesn't mean I'm not going to follow something else. But these are some of the ones that I really want. I mean, obviously, Manor Lord, you know, in April, I want to be ready for it. So when I see the date approaching, this is also going to go into my calendar. Or we have others like Lesara, The Crust, right? There's many things that could be coming at the beginning of the year. So that's interesting. As you can see right now, we're finishing a bit the Anno 1800 current series. We're doing also some uh, stamps in the Arctic and in Mbesa. New cycle, as I said, you know, really want to push this. I'm hoping that I'll be able to record a bit more and therefore also, you know, give some of them earlier to you. But this is sort of the baseline plan, right? And we're continuing satisfactory. Uh, this is getting tough. I'm not gonna lie, you know, it takes a lot of time to make a satisfactory episode, but I still love the game so much that I want to continue playing it. And 1800 will also continue. I have in mind, you know, some modded episode, and I haven't really decided yet for later in the year, so no need to tell me in the comments what Anno 1800 content you want to see, or if any other games for that matter. And of course, as soon as we get information about the new Anno 1800 game, which I don't think will be released in 2024, I think we're looking at 2025 for the release, but I'm pretty sure we're going to start getting, you know, some good information starting more, you know, around maybe April, May about the game. So to recap about the content, you know, I want to continue what I've said. I want to continue sharing big news about Anno 1800 and similar games. I want to do guides for you, right? Like top 10 tips, those type of things. Usually you like this a lot. And so I try to do them when possible. Reviews or what I call game discoveries of new games, right? To help you choose, is that for me or not? You know, one short episode to help you make that decision quite important for me and then lastly you know let's plays for the key games that i like and you like let's have some uh, let's plays you know of course many of them will be edited you know there's many games where it's not so great to see me play from start to finish every single minute but yeah i do like let's plays i know we've experimented a bit in the past with live stream but to be honest it's not so easy for me to do a lot of these on top of my job and personal life but again, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments if you really want to see more live stream, what type of content you want to see on the live stream. And, you know, I can make a plan. Now, one big change for 2024 will be the launch as of today of YouTube membership. In full transparency, YouTube actually takes a bigger cut of what you pay than Patreon. But I still think it's a better choice for the channel, for you and for me. For you all, it will provide more benefits. In particular, with YouTube membership, I'm planning to give channel members early access to some videos. For example, if you think about our new series for a uh, new cycle, the channel member that are registering today will immediately get access to all of the episodes I've already prepared. So something like episode 1 to 6 or 1 to 7, while everybody else will see these episodes coming public on the channel, you know, over the next few weeks, once every few days. So if you like to Netflix binge, you know, you'll be able to do that on a regular basis with channel membership. And also for me, frankly, it's also a bit simpler to centralize it all on YouTube versus having multiple platforms, including for boring things like taxes. So if you click on join on the channel or when you're looking at one video, you'll be able to see the different membership levels, price, which by the way, completely change based on, on your currency, right? So I don't know how much you're paying in your country and benefits. And of course the Discord community with all of the blueprints and things like this remain free. All of my videos remain free, but if you want to help the channel grow, membership is a great way to help me because even the lowest price level is way more than the equivalent of a thousand ads right and on top of this it's stable right usually membership is a bit more stable versus the ad revenue can really go up and down based on what advertisers wants to pay right now but again no pressure and thank you all for the support you know, watching liking commenting the content and i hope we'll have tons of fun playing new games and old games in 2024